What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to record a direct out from a tube amplifier and then get a variety of different tones with that signal using a free impulse response loader. The impulse response loader or cab sim that we're going to be using is called the Vox Engo Bugex and it's available for all plug-in formats and it is also free. Also just wanted to note that I've been looking for a free cabinet simulator for a while so I can use some of my own custom IRs that I have and I was super glad to see this one available. So we're going to be taking a look at that plugin and I'm going to show you the basics of of recording your amp into an interface. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do once you have your guitar hooked up is take a line out of the amp's uh, send and the FX loop. Some amps have a raw output or like, you know, something that would go to the mixing board in the back, but this one doesn't. Then you're gonna run this cord over to your interface. Now I'm running mine into a preamp because I'm putting a lot of gain out in front because I like to, you know, take advantage of this DI setup to record my amp at a lower volume. However, you can crank up your amp, get a more saturated tone, and then run it into your interface. Massive warning to everybody too, do not take the powered output or the speaker output on the back of the amplifier and run it into your interface because you're gonna destroy your interface and possibly electrocute yourself. Also, always have your amp connected to a speaker load when it's on or else you could risk harming your amplifier. So now that that's out of the way, let's head over to the computer and check out the signal and the cab loader. Okay, so here we are in our Pro Tools session, and I have a double track of the distorted uh, amp channel and a double track of the clean channel. So let's give these two a listen. And I gotta warn you, the uh, sound of the distorted amp before it hits the cab is pretty nasty, so you have been warned. Let's give it a listen. Now double tracked. And as you can see, without the speaker on there, that is an evil sound. Um, the more I do this, the more I realize how important a speaker is to an amp tone, as it really helps shape and tame those just evil high frequencies. All right, here's the clean tone. This one is not as bad. Sounds pretty good. Sounds almost like the amp with the speaker. <clears throat> but it is a little bit thin. It sounds good, but it doesn't have the body or the thickness that it normally has when you have a speaker. So now let's get to the speaker emulation. We're gonna be using Vox Engo Bugex for this. And this is actually an entire amp simulation suite that can take a DI to an amp tone. However, we're really only focused on this uh, cabinet simulator portion of it. So the first thing I would do is turn off the equalizer and ensure this parametric pre-equalizer is pretty much neutral. Uh, you can also, you can use this to sculpt the sound a little, but when you're just trying to find the right IR, I would keep this neutral. And then also, make sure the gate isn't on. You can use it if you want, but I don't really like to. Next, importantly, this is the amp simulation. You're going to want to have the 100% dry signal, and then, so you're basically just bypassing it, and then have the 100% wit signal on the uh, cabinet. Now this thing comes with a bunch of preloaded cabinets, and some of which are pretty good. So I'm going to play you an example with one of the preloaded cabinets and I'll show you my two favorite. In this case the cab 7 with the ribbon. So let's hear that uh, DI signal with the cab sim. <laughs> Now I'll show you one of my other uh, favorites, and that is the Cab 3 with the off-axis 57. And that right there sounds very much like the actual amp I'm using when it's played in a room through its speaker. Now I'm going to jump down here onto this track and show you how you can use the uh, Cab Sim Loader to bring in some custom IRs. In this case, I'm using the best IR plugins Pack 7. This has a bunch of cab sims that sound sick and they're all based on real bands. So I'm going to bring up the corn cab simulation because I love corn and it gives it that kind of nice mid range chunk. So that's going to sound like this. <laughs> And you can just experiment too, finding ones you like. All right, pretty cool. So now I'm gonna show you what I like to do and that's blend two cab tones. So we're gonna bring back that corn cab tone I was just using and try it with the uh, 
one of the standard Bugex ones. So let's see. Drop the corn one in there, pan these out, and we'll give it a listen. And as you can see, that already sounds way better than what we started out with, which was just a DI straight out of the amp. And then obviously from here, you can EQ and tweak some more. And also if you have a nicer tube amp, you can probably use this method to get insane tones. Like I'm playing out of a $300 somewhat broken PV Valve King, which is a very low tier high gain amplifier. But if you had like a Randall Satan or a nice Mesa tread plate, I'm sure you could get some awesome sounding signals out of this method and also using a free plugin. And these uh, Vox Engo plugins are great. I'm probably going to do another video with their Spectral Analyzer or some of their other reverb plugins. Alright, so now we're going to jump down and look at the clean tones. And they already sounded pretty good, but when we bring the cab sim in, you'll notice they have a slightly fuller sound. So here is with, and without. You see it's got a little less mid-range, a little less body. It's a really nice clean. I love how full and warm it is. You're getting that warmth and natural sound from those tubes. Recording that DI out of your tube amp and then being able to play around with the different cabinets, it's awesome. It's something you could definitely use in your workflow, especially if you think, you know, how would my Fender Twin sound like if it had eminent speakers in it? You can just keep trying out those combos, but maintaining a lot of the character and warmth of your tube amp. So you can even jump down here and engage this reverb if you want with these clean tones or with any sound. so you can hear it ringing in the back. Sounds really nice. Let's see how that sounds in uh, the double track. It's a very nice silky post-rock tone. Man. I'm really happy with how that sounds. This old school verb, it's another plugin they make as a standalone that sounds fantastic. And if you think about it, you could also disable all the cabinet simulation and amp simulation and just use the old school verb. So for the price of zero, uh, Voxengo Bugex is a definite download. And also, man, this thing had the DI amp sound sounding phenomenal. And I'm also really impressed with the warmth and clarity that I got out of this clean tone. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time when we're doing more audio production. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time with more audio production-related content. Peace.